how are you all? Today we're doing my first impressions for Ao Haru X Kikanju, which can be translated as Blue Spring X Machine Guns. I got a request to do this first impressions, even though I found the first episode really strange. I decided to go ahead and watch till the fourth episode because there are fourth episodes out right now, and it is the strangest series that I've ever seen. But I can see why it has appeal for the Japanese audience. Ao Haru X Kikanju is about a girl named Tachibana Hotaru who dresses up as a boy because she is very bent on fighting injustice that happens on a regular basis. She's the student council president at her high school and she basically has a very strict set of morals that she always sticks to. So this is a really strange setup because the girl has a really strange personality. She wants to defend justice to the point where she dresses up as a boy on a regular basis. It's a lot easier to get past those gender restrictions as a boy so pretty much everyone else other than one or two close friends and family members see her as a boy. Due to a misunderstanding from a friend she ends up being conned by a host and in order to repay a debt she ends up joining the toy gun gun survival game team that this host is on. Hotaru ends up getting really hooked onto these survival games and for those of you guys who are not familiar of what survival games are they're basically these kinds of like mock war games that involve BB guns. If you guys have heard of Airsoft, it's basically like that. And a lot of gun otaku are really big fans of these games as well. A lot of people really like the thrill and excitement of these games. I'm surprised how a quirky and interesting premise can lead into an entire story about survival games. Because Hotaru ends up being addicted to these games, she's invited to stay on the toy gun gun team with the host, who is Masamune, and his friend Yukimura, who is a famous SM manga artist. The characters are quite intriguing because they're very unique, but I have no idea what kind of tropes they might fall into. The basic goal of the show is to aim to be Japan's number one survival game team. Now there are a lot of complications on this road to this goal. Initially I thought the story was going to focus on Hotaru repaying the debt, but the debt is just something that kind of throws us into this whole world of survival games, and as Hotaru eases herself more and more deeply into this survival game world, she ends up running into different challenges like improving herself as a player, learning what teamwork is, and basically even interacting on a regular basis with her teammates is an issue because her teammates are so eccentric. I enjoyed the series thus far for its action scenes. I don't really understand a lot of the tensions that are going on, and I can't tell if the tensions between teams are for comedic value because they're so overly exaggerated, or this is just how intensely dramatic survival game teams can get. Anyone who's looking for a really strange comedy series could definitely try this. Sooner or later someone's gonna have to find a Hotaru who's actually a girl and of course more complications will arise. One of the main reasons for so much conflict is because the characters are all pretty much dysfunctional or a lot of them are sadists. The art style depicts the characters as very bishonen and technically because of all the guy on guy tension I can see this appealing to a lot of girls. However all the gun nut references and the survival game topic seems to cater more to guys. So I really have no idea what Aoharu X Kanju is trying to do, but if you're looking for a really eccentric, very different kind of comedy series, you can definitely check this one out. These are just my first impressions because I have had absolutely no interaction with the story prior to the anime series, so I find myself a little bit lost with what the series is trying to do. Other than the fact that the main goal of the show aims for the characters to become the top survival game team, I don't know what motivates each character, and that leaves me a little bit directionless when I'm watching the show. But anyways, you guys can take all of this with a grain of salt and perhaps give Ao Haru X Kikanju a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to hit like or subscribe for more from me. This just about wraps up all of my first impressions. I'm eager to get back to some anime rants and perhaps some other features for manga. As well, I wanted to do one or two question tags in the coming week. Let me know what you guys think of Ao Haru X Kikanju and whether you think I should keep watching the series. Till then, I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!